I despise the Inhumans. I've never been a fan of the Inhumans. They always seemed like second rate mutants to me. I mean, they basically like like you talking comic book or are you talking like in terms I'm of talking about concept. <laughs> What's really good guys, I know that y'all here from the other video. This is our spoiler review for, well, spoiler discussion, not really review, we already reviewed it. We ain't reviewing yeah, it's a nothing. discussion. It's a discussion of the spoilers. All the spoilers that you want right here. Some of the things that we might have missed, but if you have not watched the movie or if you care about spoilers in the video right now, this is your final warning because it's gonna be me, Spotted Menace, and my boy over there, Tankbox TV. Talking Hello. mad ish. I can actually cuss now. Mad sh. Ooh. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna bleep it out. So he said the sh word. <laughs> I said the nasty word. But we're gonna be talking about multiverse of madness. All the spoilers are here. So again, in the video, if you don't want to watch any spoilers, but we're not right now, we're gonna get right into it. Okay, for, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I do want to talk about spoilers, but like we're gonna we're gonna give them a few more seconds to really think about if they want to <laughs> sit here and listen to us talk about spoilers for the length of this video. Cause we're I'm not gonna say we're gonna get into everything, but like we're gonna discuss some stuff. And then like if you haven't seen the movie, you might, I don't know, be disappointed because it got spoiled. So like if you are still here by the time that I am done talking, then you have legally entered a binding contract that you cannot post it. We spoiled the movie for you. All right, you good? You want to pause the movie and go watch it or let it play in the background while you go watch, go watch the movie, then come back and watch it again for two views. All right, I mean, good? like, I, 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 I'm I, down for two views. Do, we do good? Two views thing. Hey, yo, we good? All right. Go for it. So, so one of the things that I wanted to say is, is I, what I touched upon in the review a little bit was this is a fan service phase, it feels like, because mm -hmm. they didn't need to do this. Like, they did not need to do this, but they did it anyway. When fucking Professor X rolls in, all you hear was... Danny Elfman, I got to give him credits for doing that, because I was sitting here like, the audacity. How dare you? We, I, no, I got so no. geeked. Let's let's talk about the whole Illuminati that Marvel spoiled in a trailer. Yeah. So we got, we got, um, I want to say it's Monica Rambeau. Yeah. From the first uh, Captain Marvel movie. Apparently she yes. went off into space instead of Brie Larson. We got Captain Carter. Mm hmm We got uh, Professor Charles Xavier. Yep. One of my least favorite characters in Marvel, Blackagar Boltington, because one, that is his name. Wait. Yeah, that's what? Black Bolt's name. That is Black Bolt's name. <laughs> Blackagar Boltington. That's not his name. That is I'm, not his name. That is, I, I look, refuse. Look, cut out the dead air, but go Google it right now. I, I I I got to wait wait no 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 yeah, way like that's that's no his name way. and why are you doing that I have to say I I despise the Inhumans I've never been a fan of the Inhumans they always seemed like second rate mutants to me I mean they basically like like you talking comic book or are you talking like in terms I'm of talking about concept <laughs> and yes this motherfucker's name is Blackagar Boltigan yeah it's bad. What the fuck? That's, that also, sounds like some shit 12 year old me would make. Mm -hmm. He's also <laughs> like, when people are like, when's Marvel gonna make a flop? They did. It was the Inhumans TV show that lasted for six say. episodes and then got canceled. But fuck all that. We got finally Reed Richards as played by Amancio John, John Krasinski. I love I, dude. I, I, I think feel I got bad. more geeked about seeing him than I did anybody yeah. else in here. Like him and um like him and Charles Xavier both got reactions out of me. I don't I don't care about black folk. And I'm not even a big <laughs> Fantastic Four fan. Like Me neither. I I, I mean like let, let, let's be real. Did, Reed Richards it. is a shitty character. He's in not, terms of he's just not like, a shitty character. He's a bland character. Well, well, what I mean is it's like he does shitty things. 
He has done I'm, some incredibly shitty things. Depending on what character. universe and who writes him. That could yeah. be said about any character. Well, true. Remember when Hank Pym beat his wife and sprayed I, her with Raid? I mean, I'm still... Wait, what? Yeah. Sprayed what her with the, Raid? What about the time Tony Stark made an app that made everybody pretty but also made it addictive? It was free the first day, but the second day you had to pay $200. Oh, fuck. Every day you had to pay that money. Oh my god. Our, yeah, heroes, right. like, our heroes aren't heroes, man. <laughs> our heroes are not heroes. No, there are, there are no heroes in the MCU aside from maybe Spider-Man. I'm trying to think of a terrible thing Spider-Man has done. Like, I know it's there. I mean, like, but, we, we've known he's... I'm, I'm talking about, like, in terms way of off, action. We're, we're, yes, we, we're getting, yeah, we digress. We digress. We're getting off topic with these spoilers. Uh, so... <laughs> They built the Illuminati up to be like this big imposing threat. These motherfuckers was jobbers. They they got dog walked by by and, Wanda Maximoff. And when I was in the review, I was like, so this the script has some uh some cracks. The first would be uh Wanda being like, Oh, you never told me your name. You know he didn't, Wanda. And the second would be Reed Richards saying, hey, Wanda, don't do this. Black Bolt could tear you apart with his mouth with a single sound. <laughs> Why did he say that? Reed Richards. Genius. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you my, my dude. See, if I was Black Bolt, I'd be like, really, bitch? I would I would, well, I would have dusted anything. Reed. I would have dusted Reed was, and been like, motherfucker. But it was at that point where the movie flipped from a Marvel movie to a Sam Raimi movie, because as soon as Black Bolt didn't have that mouth, then he panicked. Like you just saw all this go out and then in, and shit got real from there. I'd have quit the Illuminati. I just walked away. I would have just walked away. Honestly, yeah. And I also <laughs> have a real big problem about that scene. How does the statue kill Miss Marvel? I mean, yeah. When you think about it, like she's been How hit by statue like, far heavier. And far more powerful things that they they did to Miss Marvel what they did to Darwin in first class. Yep. So like Black Bolt, I don't care, kill him. Um <laughs> Oh, she did Reed Rich's dirty. I'm getting to him. Dirty. I'm getting to him. Captain Carter, I saw that coming a mile away. As soon as the fright started, I'm like, you that thing going through you. And um, she did do Reed Richards dirty, both mentally and physically. Because Reed Richards trying to trying to de-escalate, you know, doing that Reed Richards thing. He's like, hey, Wanda, I get it. I got kids, too. Oh, yeah? Do, do they still have... Is their mother still alive? Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's straight. Cool. Somebody would be there to raise them. And then she turned this man into spaghetti and popped his brain. So fucked up, man. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Like, in the theater, was, I was like, I'm done. I threw my hands. I was like, I'm was done. Wanda, you equal just... Equal parts horrifying and hilarious, which, <laughs> if you know Sam Raimi, that is a Sam Raimi. <laughs> the full Sam Raimi. Uh, they didn't do full Sam Raimi. There was no, uh, no tree sexual assault in this movie. It might be on the cutting room floor. I mean, we do have 36 minutes of this movie that got cut out for the theatrical release. But... Uh, so some things that I thought were that I wanted to say that were kind of spoiler was like when I say the script was wonky like America Chavez has no character development none like she is a MacGuffin that says bad one liners like that's her whole character like they they introduced the fact that she has two moms that are out in the universe and then possibly fridge them true and she just she's either getting saved or she's the climax she's like ending the fight by doing something that wanda herself could have done because they showed that even through when she was acting as a surrogate in the illuminati if she had her hands on america chavez she could just control her powers yeah. And they bring up the thing like, well, what if they get sick? Yeah, I'll just take America with me. I mean, yeah, like, I don't need to take your power. I could just 
Be like, hey, America, we going on an adventure. And like, I mean, yeah. Also, going back to the Illuminati, they really made me, they have made me see Charles Xavier die three times now. <laughs> they fucked him up too. That one was the scariest death that I, that I think I, I saw. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, this movie has straight up jump scares. Damn, the way that they, fu- like, just a cloud of smoke and then out of nowhere, like, I'm over here, bitch, snap! <laughs> like, I can understand how she's so powerful because she's using, well, she's pretty much acting as a conduit for the dark hold at this at that point. But I mean, like, since we are talking spoilers, apparently she was, I guess, prophesied to control the dark hold, or yeah, that's why that's why I say she was a conduit for the dark hold. Yeah. But um, but like, so so I'll, macroverse. So macroverse um one last thing i know why this needed to happen and that is because wanda's too strong as a character and it was either nerf her or remove her from the movies because she's gonna come back of course like this opened up too many like we're gonna we're gonna definitely see wanda Wanda's gonna definitely come back you know Mm -hmm. uh uh in some capacity just a version of her and a mat and here's the thing like what she did my biggest question is my biggest question is now that that wanda is gone Mm -hmm. what happens to agatha we'll find out if that uh the house of harkness show is actually real i thought it was real i thought it was confirmed i'm going to say 50 50 because uh you know how easy it is to just say hey we're putting this show in production about agatha harkness to get people off of the trail of Wanda's the bad guy and Doctor Strange, because we've heard nothing about that show since it was um, revealed. You got a point. I'm sorry, my phone. Just I don't. I, I don't. I don't trust Marvel when it comes to releases until I'm sitting in the movie watching it. I mean, I'm sorry about that. I thought my phone was. That's all good. That's all good. We ain't professional. I mean, like this one ain't the professional one. The other one was like, "Oh, we gotta make sure that all of our stuff is edited and cut." To- nah, ain't nobody give a fuck about this. One. This one right here, we just we just talking. But like yeah. t- to your point, uh, my my biggest hope is that America Chavez, uh, moving forward, is given a much better and bigger character. I mean, we do I have wish, the potential. I hope she's written characters. better. I mean, yeah. I mean, like that's 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 my biggest hope. That's my biggest hope. But again, we have the prospect of the Young Avengers. Uh, popping in uh, and and getting together, so there, there's more of a chance for better screen time, better stories, uh, and better you know character development when it comes to mm-hmm. her um, or character development at all or any because like yeah she she goes from the first I'm, time I'm, the strange I'm tried to kill me yeah and take my powers I don't trust you okay you'll have to trust me okay all right uh so bad news so I went to the person that to who knows magic and it turns out she's the one that's trying to kill you and uh she's coming here oh so like the person you told me to trust you about is trying to kill me and you told her where i'm at hmm i don't trust you hey uh anyway the plot needs you to trust me implicitly from here on out all right cool i trust you like that was the whole thing yeah it's a shame too because i because i, I kind of liked her as a concept just yeah, like you know. in the comics, she's cool. Yeah, like I'm. I'm not going to say I have deep knowledge of America Chavez, but like, well, I like we, what I've we, read of her. We technically, if you if you paid attention to any of like the Disney Plus Disney XD, you know, uh, Marvel Rise or Marvel Rising shows, that I have, have not. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so so in those particular shows, we did see slight glimpses into an MCU light universe where america chavez was uh in there for like one of those one of their future links shows uh okay. i know that's where they where they, where they brought in uh riri uh you know uh iron heart uh for... she's getting a show soon she, yeah i thought she was getting a movie no she's getting she a show, show. Okay. armory wars oh oh yeah cool well she was brought up in there uh the actual i think it was the grandson of uh the first black Captain America uh, is playing. Um, I can never remember dude's name. I want. It's not Iron Patriot, but like 
he was he was he was uh he was glimpsed in also uh the second game of that Marvel's uh top down four player Oh Ultimate Alliance. Yeah, Ultimate Alliance, thank you. Uh he was he was also brought up in, in Ultimate Alliance too, but they brought him in for this show too. Uh and it was uh Daisy uh from Agents of Shield as an agent of Shield who was basically the only adult in the room, pretty much. Uh because Actually... you also had Agents of Shield is the is the only show I've seen that has done Inhumans fine. Yeah, they managed to make well because like they couldn't save mutants, so like they they had to work around it. No, they the characters they used were actually Inhumans, like from the comics, like Yo Yo, Daisy, oh, Lincoln, and that. all that. Yeah, they were all Inhumans. Well, fuck. I learned something new. I like learning I know. new things. Why do I know stupid comic knowledge? I mean, like, it's helping me out right now. Like it's just random, it. like just random factoids. I, not necessarily that random. It's just surface level. It ain't that deep. Oh, but, I never told oh. you the Minotaur's name. Yeah, what the fuck is the Minotaur's name? It's Rintra. R i n t r a h. R i n t r i h. A h. A h. Heart. I'm trying to flip it. Because that's the only that's the only reason why you would give that that freaking out there of a name. Uh, no, he's an alien from another dimension. Oh, well, okay. But back to Marvel's Rising because you should kind of watch it because it is actually pretty pretty cool. Because they did also have Squirrel Girl and uh, Kamala Khan uh, in there uh, as well. And it, it kind of bridged the gap because it also brought in Gwen Stacy uh, for mm-hmm. uh, for a moment. So I honestly don't know if that's technically 616 or if it's another, you know, just parallel world where all these things can interact with each other. So, but I, I, I do recommend watching it uh, just to sort of kind of fill in the gaps a little bit. But uh, to bring it back to Doctor Strange movie. <laughs> I'm not worried about reaction review. It's um one line of dialogue made me completely nonplussed about Reed Richards' death, and that was him saying he had kids. Yeah, because because one of his uh, kids is Franklin Richards, the most powerful reality shaper in the MCU. Almost, he's gonna be like, "Oh, my dad's dead." Nah, and he's just gonna <laughs> fix that. I mean, if it's if it's that version of Reed Richards that where that is his son, he said he has two kids, and a Sue Storm. Well, he didn't say Sue, but I mean, that's the only person I I've ever remembered Reed Richards ever marrying. I mean, he might be in a throuple. We don't know. I mean, he's not Gene Wolverine and Cyclops. <laughs> God damn it! I hate you. Man. Which. So, I, I guess I'm just going to harp on the Illuminati section of the movie because it because it brings up so many questions. Yeah, like, it kind of does. So, who all fought Thanos? Because if you look at the movie, that was uh, on the first moon. Yeah. From um, Infinity War, which means that they ended it there. Who all were they fighting? Were mut- did mutants and inhumans work together? Like, did you have, did you have Jean Grey and Cyclops? Because if they had, I don't, I refuse to believe that Jean Grey existed in that universe. And Scarlet Witch was able to just snap Professor X's neck like that and not get any repercussions. Because one, I mean, not no Jean would have known. Jean would have known. She would have went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. The Dark Phoenix would have been like, mm, free real estate, and that would have been the rest of the movie. I mean, true. When you think about it, it is true. Do mutants, like, is Charles Xavier the only... Are there X-Men? That's the big question. Like, they said said Black Bolt was the king of the Inhumans, didn't they? So, yeah, yeah. So, they they, are Inhumans. They actually did bring in the the Inhumans as... uh, Well, they've always been able to use the Inhumans. They just now recently got access to uh, mutants, which is the better DLC, if if you ask me. Um, Just just go keep all shit. I'm petty. (laughs) <laughs> wow anyway but yeah like so do they have access to mutants is wanda a mutant in this universe like 
it gives me so That's many question. questions. Is there a doom in this universe? I mean, if the if the Fantastic Four is here, they, it, they've got to be. Yeah, that means that um, it. One thing I like about this movie, even if it doesn't do it super well, is that the way it impacts the MCU. Hopefully, they're like, okay, well, now we can just get just out there. But it also sets the precedent of them being able to make stuff that's not strictly a superhero movie. Like, like this one's a horror movie. Shang-Chi was a kung fu movie. Yeah. I mean, like, like now it means that we could do Howard the Duck without having to invoke, like, the usual Marvelisms. Like, it could just be Howard the Duck in his own little adventure without having to be like, oh, we have to connect it to... No, they just the relegate Avengers. Howard the Duck to um, a side character in a... I mean, like, I know, I know he did, but like, if no, I'm you just... did one focusing on him, you don't have to, because like, th- the temptation is going to always be there. That if you pull up uh, any kind of superhero, you've got to find some way to in their movie or in their property or in their show, whatever it is, to connect the dots here and there, either in conversation or or in like a massive set piece to just be like, haha. By the way, Iron Man is nearby. And now we're back to their story or something like that. Yeah. Like now I think you can just say, hey, this is a Marvel movie. And oh, I don't know why that popping over there. Uh, hey, this is just a Marvel movie uh, without having to invoke the already established MCU. Well, it also makes it possible. It makes it to where the connections, like if they do bring in a connected character, it makes sense. Yeah. And the reason that they don't also make sense, like him saying, I... I think out of all the people on the Avengers, like we have two buck themed ones, but in a situation of magic, I will come to you, Scarlet Witch yeah. or Wanda Maximoff. And the effort to keep things brief. Why did I say that? I felt so pretentious doing that. And the effort to make <laughs> uh to make uh this stuff brief before we call it a wrap on this video is I have two questions. Three. About the ending. The ending is, uh, one, a very evil dead ending. You know, with him jauntily walking and then he hits the street and you see the dark hole starts manifesting on him because he used it through the movie. Yeah. So uh, what happened after that? Also, let's talk about the first mid credit scene because that also brings up questions like how recent from the mid credit scenes is it to the end of Doctor Strange 2. Like how often has he been has he had that that dark hold with no, him just in control? What is the time passage? Yeah. Cause he seems completely alright with it during the mid credit scene. Yeah. Just just to pull it out, just like ha 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 eyeball. Yeah. Which that is that's, that was a bad that's a bad effect. <laughs> it was a really bad effect. It just that's looks good, like that's a good question. It, it looked like somebody just in premiere took one of his eyes map not mapped out but masked out masked, everything masked the eye. <laughs> except the eye and this plopped it there like it was for some reason that took me out of the movie like i'm like all right that looks bad that looks okay <laughs> well well here's the thing like was it bad when when it was on the other doctor strange or just yes on him okay well i did not like then. the effect at all also because i forgot this because it's really non-consequential and kind of nitpicky how did uh I said her name in the other review. Catherine? Christine. Christine. How did Christine know exactly how to use that urn to kill the spirits? Well, I mean, if she had a relationship with Doctor Strange before, uh, the same kind of Doctor Strange would have used the Dark Hold. Uh, this was a different Doctor Strange in a different universe, though. I know, but it was still the same uh, Sorcerer Supreme area. So who's to say would- that? She have gone up there. Doc- be- they didn't have that relationship. They had a. They had almost the same kind of relationship that uh, that our Doctor Strange had with Christine. Well, then, then, then she wouldn't have ever went up there because Strange, in his movie, never took Christine to the uh, Sanctum. I don't think. Like he always went to her. That's true. I mean, like it's 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 not like. It, like it I said, it's a, nit, a it's a nitpicky thing yeah, because it's a day. Yeah. It was a Deus Ex Machina. 
Yeah, that one like, kind of was just like, ah, she randomly knows how to how to pop open that urn and use it against one, the spirit. She knows what it is and two, how to find it and how to use it. Yeah, it, the fact that it just happens without any, like, you don't, you don't, I'm not looking for, like, a massive, like, you know, explanation or anything. It's like, but, like, a brief line of dialogue since has just been like, yeah, I've been to the Sanctum Sanctorum before or some shit like that. So, like, you know, we can kind of, but again, as you said, it is incredibly nitpicky. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't actually ruin or paint you know any kind of uh, critiquing of the movie. It's just something that we noticed. Which, also, yeah, yeah, is the next movie going to be Doctor Strange finding his new love? Maybe. I mean, do you it know, is, he do is you one know of who Dormammu's niece? That is not Dormammu's niece. I thought it was Dormammu's. I thought that was her her uncle. What's the character's name? I forgot. I looked it up when I, at the during the end credits. <laughs> I, I looked it the fuck up, but her I name can't is, remember. Her name is Clea. Yeah. And I cannot remember her being related to Dormammu. I do know that her and Strange get married. Now, see, I'm gonna ask you to Google now. What if it's if that's um if that if that's Dormammu's niece? I think it is. I mean, I could try. Oh, she is the niece of Dormammu. You got me there. Ah, get to do a little dance. I got one right. But only because I looked right. it up. Only because I looked it up before this video. So you were right. She is the niece of Dormammu. I will give you one point, and I still have one point. Many, many more. Yes, you do. But I got one. I got one. Just so, like the little giants. God, I haven't thought about that in decades. So, <laughs> like, the movie's not perfect. It's not. I'm not going to say it's a bad Marvel movie. It's not my favorite Marvel movie by far. No. It's also not the worst one. It's not the worst Marvel property in humans. Just go keep on being petty. It's also it's we getting three multiverse movies this year. Spider Man, Every, Doctor Strange, everything, and everything, everything all at once. Four. What's the fourth? Through the Spider Verse. Oh, no, they no, got pushed back that next comes year. Out, yeah, it comes out twenty twenty three. They got pushed back next year. Okay, so yeah, it's. Man, that feels real bad saying this is my least favorite uh, multiverse movie of the year. It's just because this year's so saturated with them for some odd reason. For so, the same way that for a long time, so many movies had like a big giant beam firing off into the sky as their as a climax well, that of their was, movies. That was them being lazy with the script, honestly. But this, I'm just talking takes about. I'm bit... just talking about constant themes. Yeah, but um. The fun turn your brain off. It's a fun turn your brain off horror action flick. Supernatural horror action flick. It's like Drag yeah. Me to Hell, which is another Sam Raimi movie, which feels a lot like this one actually. Like there are shades of Evil Dead in here. Like I do love the reference. Uh, there's a small, tiny, tiny Deadite reference uh, when Wanda is dreamwalking and she finds the Wanda and the Illuminati universe, and they do the first camera view, and it's yeah. following her. Like that's right up from evil dead yeah, also, that, was also, also, that was also i, I love that the way that they handled that also this might just be me but it's also been a long time since i've watched evil dead but the voices of the demons well the spirits that possess zombie strange oh yeah zombie strange is in this movie yeah but um <laughs> he makes he makes uh he makes a pair of wings out of souls which is cool but i mean yeah but um those voices also sound like the ones from the possessed heads and I want to say Evil Dead too. It's in one of the Evil Deads. The, they get confl conflagrated in my head because um, I watched them way, way long ago and I've kind of not, I'm not a big horror fan. I just haven't gone back and watched them because I've had no inkling to. So. I watched them once was good enough for you. Yeah. I, I've Which, I'll you with that. I think that's, I think I can maybe do this again with like a group of people. But like it's like, not something it, I would just put on to put on. Yeah, th there are a lot of movies out there like that where it's like I got I got the experience that I needed, and unless I'm trying to like harken back to it for any particular reason, uh, I don't need to to watch it. This one is is definitely up there. It's like I liked it, I enjoyed it, it was fun. Uh, if if we are all like you know sitting in a room and it's like hey put something on, I might put this on just to have fun and just see everybody else's reaction. But I do like it that, better for myself. No, I do like it better than the first Doctor Strange. Really? Yeah. I and complete transparency. 
Doctor Strange was like one of my least favorite Marvel movies. Mainly because I, mean, I just didn't care about the character. But after that, like everything else he's been in has made him grow on me. And I enjoyed him much more in this one. He it felt he felt better in this movie. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, but, uh, any last thoughts before we end the video? I'm ending it prematurely, it, apparently. No, I mean, no, no. We we technically done. They, they ain't shit to talk about that we haven't already kind of like talked about ad nauseum. So, like, yo, uh, if you happen to see, hopefully you saw this movie mm-hmm. before you weren't running through this lengthy ass, rambling ass spoiler discussion. Hopefully you've seen this movie. If you have seen it, what was your favorite part? Don't spoil it for anybody down there in, in, the, in the comments, but like, Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Because if they're in the comments anyway, they're watching this goddamn video. So, spoil it. I don't give a fuck. I'm- Ooh, he said the fuck word. <laughs> What's, what was your favorite part of the movie? Drop it down in the comments below. Because, again, we do like to hear from you guys. Our kaiju faithful being a part of the kaiju wrecking crew. Love to have you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed to and following our boy over there, Take Box TV. We're going to throw his channel up at the end screen as well. Also, if you want to help support this channel, help support myself and my sister, Daria, who has been trying to find her way back onto some of these videos, but she's been handling so much stuff right now. Make sure that you head on over to patreon.com slash Hyokai. You can get updates on the site, the store, and the channel. Get your name added to the end credits of videos just like these and even get some exclusive discount codes. And we're going to have some news coming up soon for our, our merch. We got some updates, so we'll keep an eye out on that. But until then, we'll have to catch y'all next time. Say goodbye to the people. Bye. Also, before I leave, a statue wouldn't kill Miss Marvel. You're not wrong. Deuces. I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs>